I'm going to be rebuilding this cylinder on the machine. An advantage of this is it makes it really easy to break the gland nut loose, having the cylinder still connected to the machine. If you can, at least break this nut loose before you pull the cylinder off, if you're going to remove it. We've got our lines disconnected. Ratchet strapping the cylinder down just in case it gets a little bit wild. It's compressing the cylinder to push all the fluid out. Now this cylinder has a two-part gland nut. This is the outer nut. It unscrews like normal. And the inner part is held in by a snap ring right there. As you can see the ends. And the tools I have found that work best for this is a screwdriver and a pick and a few curse words and that snap ring will pop right out. Now to remove the rod from the piston, you'll well, need a pretty strong impact. If you don't have air tools to remove this nut, you can do it by hand, but you'll really need to brace the rod to keep it from twisting. I'm going to start by removing the seals on the gland. Now it's always a good idea to take a picture of all these seals, the orientation, so there's no trouble down the road when you're going back to reassemble it. Clean any rust or old seal material off with a wire brush. We got our part all cleaned up, all the seals out. So we're going to start by installing the hardest seal, which is this one right here. You'll notice this has a lip. A good way to remember how to install this is pressure from in the cylinder pushes the lip of the seal tight against the shaft. So in this situation, this would be installed like this down in the bore. Now this seal is hard to install because it doesn't have much give. Now you can force it but you have a chance of damaging the seal. So what I like to do is I heat me up a pot of oil and I just let the seal sit in there for a bit to get a little more pliable and that makes it install much easier. You'll want to put a pair of gloves on before handling the seal because it'll be pretty hot and you got to move fast because that seal will harden back up quickly. Sometimes this next seal will have a lip. I always just look at the old one and the orientation of how it came out and copy that. It helps when you're installing this rod seal to kind of spiral it in there. This rod wiping seal I always install with just a big socket and a hammer. This hard Teflon outer seal, you'll have to heat up with the oil just like we did that other one. Then install the O-ring. You're going to want to look this rod over for any gouges or burrs that would cause the new seal to fail. We're going to go ahead and install our outer gland nut and our snap ring and then our inner gland nut back onto the rod. Always put plenty of oil on all these parts before I assemble them. Now for the easy part, we're going to pull the seals off the old piston. The new piston seals are pretty simple to install and go on easy.
Before installing the rod assembly back into the cylinder, you want to look the cylinder over real good for any scoring that would damage the new seals. The snap ring and nut are way easier to install than they were to remove. You'll lose quite a bit of fluid after doing this job, so after you've cycled the cylinder a few times, you want to check the reservoir. Alright, that's it for this project. I hope you guys learned something or picked up a few tips. You guys keep tinkering.